to do it. Welcome back to Fixing It Up. I'm Chuck Davenport. As you can see, our kitchen remodel is continuing here. Earlier in the day, we did the uh, demo, the demolition, if you will. That's just out with the old, in with the new. Tear that out with a couple sledgehammers. That's always fun. We're taking this soffit right here. We're extending that, and then we're also making sure the blowhole right here is the proper size. I'm going to be working on the blowhole a little bit later. And then, of course, we got our power snake. We had to pull that bad boy down from the rafters there. That's 460 BTUs of pure, unadulterated electrical power to help uh, put some new power, some new life into this old kitchen space when we put in the new oven and the convection oven. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. For instance, for me, it's either having something like a wrench or you can make sure you have a screwdriver. In my case, I prefer working with the drill. Now, the main thing that you want to do is anytime you see something like this and you got your exposed wiring, don't be afraid of it. It's the kind of thing, if you dig in, you can't go wrong and just don't be afraid of it. Ow! 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 